Friends, Misha Crossing here with the series finale of Animal Crossing New Leaf Versus, and I'm here, as always, with Pwnapples. Hello, everyone. And today, uh, we are doing, like I said, it's our series finale, so it's our last video. Um, be sure to go check out Peter's video. We did, what did we do? I already forgot, the Hide and Seek hide tour and seek. <laughs> on his channel. Um, be sure to go check him out. We're trying to get him to 25k subscribers as well for our giveaway, which we will talk about soon. So be sure to go check him out and give him a sub. Um, let's get started on this tour. Which one are we doing today? Today we are doing the Elite Balloon Tour. I'm saving the best for last. Who doesn't like using a slingshot? Um, Hit those big balloons, especially the bunny balloons. Hopefully this tour is not riddled with pitfalls like the last one yes, was. That was, I, uh, that was the bane of my existence. Stress <laughs> pitfalls attacks. will be the death of me. <laughs> oh, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the what the catch is here. The advanced tours always have some really big annoyance. I'm thinking that maybe the wind will change directions really frequently or something. Yeah, watch it for the wind. And change the course of the balloons. Only pop the balloons if you're a certain color. So I'm going for red, going Peter's for going for blue. Cool. Bunny balloons are worth three points. 40 points in five minutes. Cool. And we will see who comes out the victory. We do these best two out of three. So Tortimer will tell us at the end of the tour who, who got the most points. And whoops, they're up there. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll win the last one on my channel. Oh no, I see a pitfall. Or at least something buried in the- yep, there's pitfalls. There's pitfalls? God dang Did it. Did you just fall in yes. a pitfall? I haven't, I haven't fallen in one yet, I can just see them. Oh. So our common question of the day is asking you basically what you- woo, what you would like to see us do for a future Versus series. We used to do uh, Happy Home Designer versus, which was a pretty big hit. People seem to like a lot where we just uh, both decorated the same character's house in Happy Home Designer and you all voted for who's you like best. But uh, we've got some other options as well for you all to, to choose from. So I'll have a poll in this video and you can also talk about it in the comments. Um, but Peter, you want to give them a rundown of your uh, Wild World or City Folk versus yes, so, ideas. Uh, either the options are we uh, go back to Happy Home Designer. I don't know if you already said that. I was trying to focus. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's one of the options. Uh, go, <laughs> focus in on the balloons. Go back to Happy Home Designer. Or we could um, do a new leaf. Not new leaf. Um, we could even do new leaf if you want. Um, I guess we could. <laughs> we could either do new leaf, the GameCube one. Any, any of the animal I, I just found at the point. We can do uh, City <laughs> no. Folk, Original Animal Crossing, or Wild World versus, and basically it would run it down as we have um, in the in the episodes that we do. Uh, in the episodes that we do, we could either do. We can. Yeah, they're all the way up here now. There's gonna be three wind conditions. It's kind of like you know, at the end of like Super Mario Party, you get like um, stars. It, depending on how well you did. Uh, yeah. So it's going to be whoever can pay off the most debt, whoever can fill up more of their catalog, uh, and whoever can fill up more of the museum. Yeah, so kind of like speed run type things, but competing just with each other, sort of. No, like official GDQ speed runs, you know, where <laughs> you're going gonna to see me, you know, kill it. Uh, no, so We're gonna be on the top shots. Top shots, yeah. You're gonna see us <laughs> with all the glitches and, and, and the, the time skips and whatever, whatever they do. Oh, um, so yeah, that's that is the um, choices that we have. Yeah, I'd be. I feel like maybe we should do like a test episode of one. Um, we are taking a break after after finishing the New Leaf versus. Oh, where are my balloons now? Okay. Yeah, we're going to take a little bit of a break. We're going to start back up our new series with whatever you all pick uh, at the beginning of, of October. Probably same deal, Tuesdays on Peter's channel, Thursdays on mine. But we're going to take a bit of a break uh, just to figure out exactly what we want to do, talk to you all, see what you think. But maybe we'll do like a test episode of either The Wild World or City Folk or New Leaf or whatever, you know, a little speed. No! Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've already fell in three of them, so... That was, yeah, that was probably like my second or third one. Ah, that balloon just, oh, I got it. 
Did I get it? I don't know. Ah! So many. Too many. This is like the last minute. There's so many balloons. Okay, come here, bunny balloon. I think you're gonna beat me because I, like, I missed like five balloons in the beginning. I've got, yeah, I got most of them at the beginning, but I've started to miss a bunch now. I don't want to talk to you, Tortimer. I wanted to shoot the balloon. <laughs> but yeah, I think it'd be really interesting to go back and play an old game like Wild World or City Folk with a new new focus, not just playing day-to-day, -day, but making it a little competitive. And It would, I don't know, it'd be like revisiting the mechanics, too, because each, each game is set up a little bit differently on how you unlock things or just how you interact with the world, so it'd be really fun to go back to those and with a competitive edge to it, see see how we do. But designing homes would also be super fun. I am and then, big right. into designing houses. The last option is the, uh, if you have a versus series you would like us to do, um, any type of game you would like us to do, we can do Pokemon or we can do uh, yeah. pretty much anything. I know the Pokemon versions are very popular. Um, yeah, easy to set those up. Do some battle. I haven't done like big Pokemon battles we go, in the games. If we, if in, we go in a back while. to Pokemon, we're going back to my old turf. Like the very few people Ooh. who remember my old channel, well, <laughs> the, re the return of Gold and Silver Seven. But I will never do that to your people on your channel. Oh, they, thank they you. Don't, thank they you. don't need the <laughs> demon that used to be. I, I hope he Prote tells us. Protect how, them. I hope he tells us who won. Because <laughs> yeah, if he doesn't, I have no idea how to tally those points up. That was a hoot. Let's take a gander. Only a silver. Mm, yeah, we were too distracted talking. Oh, extra. <laughs> wow, you won one of them. Woo, I did. Redemption. Yeah. All right, I'm setting up myself to win, but Peter can still come back. We've got at least one more round, possibly two more, depending on who wins this next one. Whew. But yeah, feel free to tell us your whoop, tell us your thoughts on what other versus series you'd want us to do. I mean, we both mostly do Nintendo games, but I am open to other games as well. I only got a Switch and a Mac, what are we doing? so I can't really PC game that much. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you don't have an Elgato, so yeah, Nintendo games only. <laughs> but we can do emulators for older games too, so even if it's not a current game that is widely available. That's still an option. Maybe Kirby versus. Kirby versus <laughs> speedrun Kirby. There's some old like Mario games I haven't played like that. Uh, like some DS games like Yoshi's Island and there's a Princess Peach game that is just like super cute pixel art platforming and I'd love to go back and, and play that even you know not necessarily in a versus but just different old games I'd like to go back and check out that I never got the chance to. I think it was like Super Princess Peach. Yeah, with her crying is and, what and it's getting called. angry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Focus on the balloons. Avoid the pitfalls. We got this. I guess with more people, there's more colors. Yeah, we did a balloon tour on one of my streams one time and just everybody yeah everybody had their own own color but it made it so hectic because it's uh -huh. already there's a lot of people running around okay. i just need to not go behind trees <laughs> i wish tournament told us exactly how many points we got at the end like he just gives us medals based on how many points we got but i wish we knew like how many points we actually contributed. Well, I know if the next Animal Crossing game has a island, we're definitely gonna have mm -hmm. to like grind up mini games. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, definitely. There'll there'll have to be some sort of competitive, you know, fast paced multiplayer option in the next game. Cause people oh no. <laughs> I feel like people have been asking for more and more multiplayer on Animal Crossing. Like, Wild World, you could just, like, go to people's towns that were close to you. New Leaf, they upped it to the, the island. Oh, no! 
they upped it to the island and uh, the mini games. So hopefully the Switch game will take it to an even, even better level of, of multiplayer. Because right now you can only play with three people at a time, and that's fun. But it's also a little restrictive as far as you know other multiplayer games go. You can play with so many more people than that. Oh my god, I was waiting for the balloons to come across the river. Me too, I, I stopped and, and I was like... <laughs> and then the wind changed direction. Okay, come here. There we go. Have you ever used a slingshot before? Um, yeah, one of my friends growing up had, had a slingshot. I was not as good at it as her, but... Parents house yeah, we'd always just like shoot rocks at trees and stuff. Parents house in Connecticut, there's a lot of wasp nests, so um, oh god, I would use my slingshot to knock them down. But that I was, sounds I was also terrifying. I was also terrified of bees, so just even the fact of getting near one and doing something would be probably like a little baby. Yeah, I was always terrified of, of like bees. No. <laughs> I was always terrified of bees and wasps when I was little. One time I I was climbing a tree in front of my parents' house and I came down and I landed on um, a hornet's nest and they flew up and I got stung like in the corner of my eyeball by one. And it was just the most horrendous experience because there were just bees in my eyes and it just, oh, it's a traumatic experience. Do not recommend. Landing on a <clears throat> landing on a hornet's nest. Then I've been stung by other bees and wasps a couple times. It's been a really, really long time since I've been stung by anything. Knock on wood. I guess I just don't go outside as much as I used to, so that's probably why. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm checking the airplane, there's uh, bees like in uh, certain areas of the place. The plane, the feet up to and everything. In the plane? Yeah, or in the wheel well, and it's just like, uh. Oh god. That plane would crash if I was piloting it and there was a bee in there. I would freak out. Is Spiders it? terrify me more than bees do, though. Yeah, was, which like I'm only like I'm not afraid of insects. I'm only afraid of bees though, and it's not even because of getting stung by like like a stinger. It's not like oh I'm afraid of the pain. <laughs> I'm just like afraid of how they look. Because they're, they're freaky looking. Yeah, they look menacing. Like I know for the most part they won't bother you unless you bother them. And like sure, there's a logical side to it. Unless, but unless it's a hornet. Fears mostly aren't super rational. So. It's hornets are just angry all the time. Yeah, yeah, they do just look angry all the time. The little bumblebees, little honeybees, they look sweet. They're just trying to pollinate flowers. No but I'm still outfit. a little scared of them. There's no bee outfit in there, man. Next ah, I don't want to shake the tree. It's so weird how you can shake trees with items now. Was that in the new leaf update? No, yeah, that was the, yeah, that was from the Welcome Amiibo update, being able to shake a tree with, with an item in your hand. Oh my god, the balloons are all over the place. This one's been harder. I feel like they've been in, in harder to reach areas. I'm getting dirt in my dress. Whatever it was. Dirt in your dress. Dirt, whatever outfit I decided to wear in this episode. <laughs> Poor Peter. Yeah, I'm not gonna get another balloon before the time runs out, so. <sighs> we didn't do as well. We only got 68 balloons. I think we got 70 something 74, last time. 74, I think, last time. Yeah. Let's see how we did individually. I think, you, I, think you, I think you also won. I don't know. I skipped over several. Let's see. Oh, wow. Ah, Peter won. The final oh, episode. Okay. The final episode. Ooh. The final match. All right, we got one more to go. Let's see who takes it. Yeah, this has been, I can't remember the last time we did an actual two out of three win. Like normally <laughs> it'll be one of us wins just the first couple of times and it decides it right then. I think it's been a minute since we've done an actual two out of three. I was thinking, is it possible to do Happy Home Design? I mean, um, uh, Amiibo Escape? Versus, we do the same multiplayer. We do the same map. We just choose our own villagers. Um. Oh, island escape. Yeah, maybe. 
the desert island. I haven't played. I haven't. God, I was so bad at that. I've only played it a few times, and people were commenting like, "You're really not good at managing your space and your time." I'm like, "Listen, <laughs> I've only played it like twice." But yeah, I wasn't. Gr it's fun. I'm not great at it. I don't like the puzzle one. Yeah, that one. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of of puzzle games like that. It was fun for a little bit, but. It's not really something I want to go back and and do again. But yeah, we could see if there's a way to do Desert Island Escape versus. It's whatever the fans Pretty much everybody are. has the same maps. Yeah, we just choose our enemies. Yeah. But we, uh, you guys, let us know what you would like to see. It's more or less. Um... Yeah, this is pretty much going to be up to you all. I'll have a poll. Uh, with specific choices, but like we said, you all are free to suggest other things. And if you see a comment with uh, a series that you would you would like, go ahead and thumbs up their comment to pretty much cast a vote for their suggestion. Want to hear your thoughts? I fell in a hole. Uh, okay, now I'm shaking trees. Thankfully, no pitfalls yet. Mm. I'm surprised people don't do that in New Dreamtown. Put pitfalls in places? Yeah, I'm gonna do that in my town, so when you go visit Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's been like one or two Dreamtowns where I've <sighs> fallen in a pitfall. Skills should make mazes. I mean, people probably do, but... I've seen, yeah, I've been to one or two Dreamtowns with mazes. That are pretty cool. If there's one town I went to that was like the whole thing was a maze. I can't remember what it was called, but it was really cool. It was really like intricately post, done. Post or pre hacking? Um. I honestly can't remember. I don't think it was a hacked. Like, there wasn't any features in the maze that was like obviously hacked that would make it more more difficult. Um, oh no! <laughs> I just saw you fall into that. Like, they might have used hacking or duping to get all the bushes, but... Huh? I remember when you used to have to dupe for bushes. Yep, bush starts and four-leaf clovers and flower hybrids and bells and... Crowns you would do. Unorderable furniture items, yeah, and crowns. That was the yeah, best that, that was the big thing. Mm-hmm, yeah. The best money-making thing, just dupe a bunch of crowns and sell the crowns. I remember I posted a screenshot on my Tumblr like years ago when when I was duping and woo, selling selling crowns to make money and it was like Reese saying I'll give you six million bills for this sound good and everybody was like how'd you do that? Crowns. They need to bring back the debit card so you don't have to carry bills in your pocket. Yeah, take up so much space if you're needing needing a lot of space in your pockets. Or they could just do like. Unlockable, purchasable bag expansions. That would be interesting. Another thing to I unlock want, I or just want the next towards. Animal Crossing already. Yeah, that's all we do in these videos, just sit and talk about new features Nintendo should have. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Wind changed direction on me. Where... Doing so much better with the pitfalls this time. I'm so proud of myself. Well, I've been falling in every single one. <laughs> I've passed it. I've passed the curse to you. I'm so behind on um... my balloons. I was doing so good now, and then I missed. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. This is what to Yeah, I've missed a few. Like where? Sometimes I like can't really tell exactly where it is, even though I see it on the map. It's hard to. Find it on the screen. Oh my God. I need a bunny balloon. I need more points. I want lychees or whatever they're called. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a bunny balloon. Thank you. The game listened to me. Hey, Misha's game. Give me more bunny. Oh, I have a bunny balloon. So I was about to say, <laughs> give me your luck. Oh no! It fall. One. That one wasn't even hidden. That was in the middle of the ground, and I just walked right into it. So what happens when you're looking at the map and not down at the, or not at the top screen? <sighs> I 
We are so focused. I'm I so know. nervous. I'm like, come on. This, this, oh, one's, this one's, one's neck and neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who will take the finale? No, I'm doing ah. my pro strats. My MLG pro strats. <laughs> I'm gonna be on ESPN. Balloon hunting tour. You're gonna see the next, the next Olympics. <laughs> oh, okay, I think that was my last one, unless I can go and get this one. Nope, too far away. We got 90. I think we should get a gold this one. Oh yeah, we better get a gold medal oh, this I am time. Nervous. We really, we really focused our energy that time. Who is the winner? Okay, right, Tortimer. Tell me, tell me the good news. Yeah, gold Tortimer. Okay, okay, okay. And yes! And no! Hell! Oh, redemption Hell. for all the ones losing <laughs> half the album designer. Uh, game. Oh, Why you man. do this to me? Glorifying. You won the first one. You should have kept that mojo up. I know. I know. The mojo. I lost the mojo. It was my Kawaii Desune schoolgirl outfit. That helped yes, me it was. I've been in the same boring outfit the whole time. That's why I lost. You gotta, you gotta quiet it up, you know. <sighs> sad, sad, sad. Nico, Nico, Ni, and, and all the other <laughs> Japanese things I could say. Senpai, Desune, and you know. Thank you all so much for watching. I am a bit ashamed that I lost our finale here on my home turf, but it was fun. All fun. <laughs> and what else was I saying? Oh, you're talking about the giveaway. Go ahead and tell about the giveaway. Yes. Uh, don't forget, guys, we were doing the giveaway. And Misha already hit our goal, so it's just we left a thousand subs away. If I hit 25k subs, uh, we'll be giving away 20,000. Uh, 20,000. Jesus, that's a lot of Amiibo packs. Not 20,000. Uh, we'll nope. be giving away 20 packs of Amiibo cards, but if you don't hit that goal, it's okay. Uh, we're still giving away five Amiibo pack card winners to five random guests, and uh, basically we'll just pick a random commenter who count and did the comment question of the day, and uh, then you'll notify us on Twitter. Uh, social media links are in the below. Uh, and um, we'll be sending your, your uh, little Amiibo pack cards to you. Yeah, so this is the last video you can comment on to enter the giveaway, and we will let you all know who won soon. The, Thank you all so much for... Huh? The giveaway, I was going to say, the giveaway ends in, um, in the 14th, next week. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, so that's next week, so these videos will be up for, for a week um, before we pick the winners. Cool, so the 14th, last day. Sorry. Sorry for the confusion. <laughs> But thank you all so much for watching. Uh, be sure to go check out the last episode on Peter's channel, which was on Tuesday, on Ponapples. All our social media links are below. And remember to answer the comment question of the day. Just let us know what new Versus series you'd want us to do. We can go back to Happy Home Designer. We can do an older Animal Crossing game. Anything we talked about, uh, you can vote in the poll, but also comment below and let us know your thoughts. And like we said, we'll be taking a bit of a break. We'll be gone the rest of September, but we will be back at the beginning of October with our new series. But be sure to follow other, our other social media. We'll be updating you with what it's just doing the same that's, emotion. That's my, my kawaii schoolgirl pose. <laughs> that's, your, that's your winning pose there. I'm waiting for my, um, uh, my song, my, you know, the filler episode where I sing. Oh man, I can't wait for that one, yeah. Everybody, thumbs up the video if you want Peter to have a filler episode where he just, just sings sing. the entire no, I time. Think, I think you'll lose all your subs. <laughs> Alright, thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, be sure to check out Peter's channel and the rest of our social media linked below. Y'all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye. Bye.